Right now, it is August of 2022. We've had hardly any rain, and I have the only green lawn on the block. Uh, we are not under watering restrictions uh, because my lawn waters itself. I do not have a below ground sprinkler system. I don't have to move a sprinkler. And this was an idea that was given to me by a good friend and it works out absolutely phenomenally. So what I have going on, uh, on my hose bib, I have a Melnor four-way splitter timer. And I have four individual zones of sprinklers. Uh, I will put a link in the description to every product that I am utilizing here, most of which can be purchased at your local Home Depot or Lowe's, but if they're anything like mine, nothing is ever in stock. So anyway, this is a four-way timer splitter that you could set four different zones. Within those zones, you can have four different cycles on each zone. You can set this to automatic. You can turn it off. You can have individual watering days per zone. And you can set the time that each runs, each starts, and for how long that it runs. So, I have four zones. And I will give you a brief overview of what I got going on. It, you, you, basically, I'm using below ground sprinkler heads above ground. So, and a bunch of hose regular garden hose. The thicker diameter you can find, the better for long runs. Uh, but this is zone one. I have a 19 to 32 foot rotary rainbird head here, and it's just on a spike. And what I've done is I've gone out and gotten male and female orbit hose repair ends, just so I can cut custom lengths of hose and run the hose nicely out of my way so that it's not in the way of mowing. I don't have to move anything. It's not a tripping hazard. It just runs along the edge here, up along the wall. To a second one of the same sprinkler heads here that fires down this way. Uh, that spot right there, I'm going to add a head because this is a zone that those two heads are not getting. Uh, so then for the backyard, I have the front side yard on the other side of the driveway on zone two, but it doesn't go around the front because I would have to trip over the hose or something. The hose would be in the way and I would have to, um, basically be tripping over a hose. So I ran it around the back. So I have three zones ran around back. Zone four is my backyard, which comes in, not ideal, but this is the only place where a hose crosses a walkway. To another one of, the, this is a bigger, uh, this is a 42 rotary head around this edge, that corner, and then around the outside edge there to another head here, another big 42 head here to a little pop up there and that covers this whole corner in a 90, it's adjustable. Uh, zone three is the side yard. Zone three is the back side, back side yard. So I have one head right there to get this tight little area. And then it runs around the deck here, which I'll probably put it underneath. And I have three more heads here that cover this whole side yard. I got one there. One here, and these are smaller two inch pop ups, and one here. Zone four, which is the front side yard over here, again runs to the back. I snaked it under the deck and up this side. Again, out of any walkways, comes out over here and runs up my edging to the property line, and I've got three three here. This one, another pop-up, adjustable four-inch pop-up, another adjustable four-inch pop-up, and then this hose runs to this one. That This area is dark, because I literally just installed this last head. 
that is an adjustable pop-up that's spraying on a 90 to cover this area, which will take care of that brown in a couple of days. So now I will turn a zone on and uh, show you how this works. Now I don't have to turn the zones on. I have the option of turning them on manually, but they are programmed to turn on automatically, just like your in-ground sprinkler system would. Uh, so I don't even ever think about this. It just follows the schedule. So I will turn on zone four, which is the backyard. I'll put it on for a couple of minutes. Hit okay. You'll see that it kicks on. And I have it running in the wee hours of the morning so that by the time we wake up, it doesn't interrupt our showers. But there's this one right here that covers this whole sweep. It's gonna go all the way back to the swing set over there. Then this big guy over here is covering this run. And they're all adjustable. You can adjust how far it moves, what direction it goes. And Home Depot and Lowe's carries these, well, Lowe's for the most part carries these heads. So then you could see this one and then that one's going over there. And then we have this one in the corner getting what this rotary at the corner can't reach. So, and that's the idea all the way around. Uh, I'm not gonna turn on each one individually. You get the idea, but I hope this if someone is just wants to water the lawn but doesn't want to be bothered with moving a sprinkler around and it doesn't want it to be an hour to two hour process or multiple hour process every night, hopefully this is helpful. I will put links to everything in the description and uh, we'll see you later.